Certain functionalities on my Mac are absolutely essential for my work. Surprisingly, all of these crucial features come from free apps that have become second nature to me. So today, I'm sharing 10 of these hidden items. And with these, your life is about to fundamentally change. Even if you have the app or you've heard of it, the pro tips will show you features that you didn't even know existed in the app. The first app I want to talk about is called Hyperduck. I often browse on my phone and send links to my Mac to view them immediately or later. It could be a URL or anything you share using the share option on your iOS device. Now, previously, this was a big hassle. I'd copy the link, paste it into WhatsApp, pick it up from the WhatsApp Mac app, and then review it and take notes when back in the office. Now it's just share and click the new send to Mac option. The URL opens directly on my Mac. Now I do have another app that's called Bumper that costs $2.99 and that's installed alongside it, which lets me choose which browser to open the links in. Now the alternative to all of this was AirDrop, but that would open links by default in Safari, which isn't always ideal. What's best is that Hyperduck works even when you're not near the Mac or if they are turned off. So when I return home and I turn on my Mac, the link opens automatically. A pro tip here, you set up the Hyperdeck by clicking share, then edit actions at the bottom. Click the green plus icon that says send to Mac and the option will appear pinned at the top. If you're a Windows user and I was for many, many years, you're likely to be familiar with Control X, which cuts the selected file, the text or the object from its original location. And then you can paste it using Control V into the new location. Now I still prefer this option over using the command plus C and the command plus shift plus V for cut and paste on the Mac. The command I use now is command X and command V. It's more intuitive because I've already decided whether to cut or to copy when I perform the first action. And best of all, command X app runs silently in the background after setup. Now here's a pro tip, your original Mac shortcut the command plus shift plus V still works alongside this new functionality. The next app on my list is called Transnomino. I think I've pronounced it okay. Simply put, it's a batch renaming utility on steroids and it's completely free. Let's take an example. Say you have a bunch of random screenshots and you want to insert a prefix in front of them. Now let's drag those into the Transnomino window. You hit this replace option and you'll find a bunch of choices from replace to insert, right up to select. Pick the one that meets your needs. Now you could add another step, say to number them serially with a separator like a dash. And you could add other steps. If you're not happy with any of the steps, you can go back and make changes. Now you want to shuffle the steps just drag them to the right place. So you can preview the transform name in the window before you hit rename. There are options like converting text to uppercase, to lowercase or capitalized formats. And you can remove diacritics or these special characters if you use both Windows and Mac machines. Now, if you're a photographer, you can add image dimensions like pixel height and width, or the name of the camera. You can also save this renaming convention as a recipe. There's so many options out there, and it's best to play around with it to get the hang of it. But this is a wonderful app. I work with a four monitor setup, plus a teleprompter, and I love all of these. However, each monitor has a different method for controlling its brightness, which is frustrating, but they're from different manufacturers. The Apple Studio Display, for example, adjusts via the control center, while my Samsung uses one button, which is very hard to reach, which is on the back of the monitor. That's why I use Monitor Control Lite. It's an app available on the App Store and manages the brightness across all my monitors. This feature is particularly handy when working late or when the light conditions change throughout the day. Now, while Monitor Control Lite is available on the App Store, you can also download the more feature-rich Monitor Control app from GitHub. So the Pomodoro technique is arguably the most important tool I use to achieve deep focus. Now the famous psychologist and author, Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, I can't pronounce his name, coined the term flow state to describe this 
mental state. Now Flow is an app that uses the Pomodoro principle to help achieve this state. It features a minimal design with a simple digital timer. You can set your flow time from between 15 and 90 minutes and define your break durations to be short or long. I've set mine to a 60 minute flow as a default. So this app also displays the daily, weekly, monthly and yearly stats within the timer interface right here. However, flow doesn't allow you to tag or categorize sessions and it doesn't have these fine grained controls over the timer or a count up feature like my desktop timer. Now our next nifty app is called Amphetamine as the first thing that boots up on my Mac and this keeps the Mac awake, prevents it from falling asleep during important tasks. You can set that session for a specific amount of time or infinitely with a quick click and you can start and stop a session. Now here's a pro tip. You go into the amphetamine settings. You can set triggers based off of the network you're in. So if you're in the office or otherwise and you can enable these triggers. You can name a trigger and set this to go off based on different criteria like the Wi-Fi network. You may be in Starbucks the application or the battery level, for example. Amphetamine sits quietly in your menu bar and it's ready when you need it. It's a free download and it's available on the Mac store. Now Only Switch is a really versatile app that offers a wide array of control center functions. It includes options like quickly setting the dark mode, auto hiding the menu bar or the dock, and accessing internet radio. I use it specifically because I have other dedicated apps for various tasks, but your experience may differ significantly. This single app has the potential to replace many, many others in your toolkit. And it features this control center like button in the menu bar for easy access. You can assign hotkeys to each of its functions for quick activation. So earlier we spoke about flow that keeps track of your time and helps you focus better. Now Hazeover is an app that dims the background to enable you to focus on the active window, promoting something called monotasking for improved productivity. Now this feature is particularly useful for long writing sessions or for deep thinking tasks, like if you're working on a spreadsheet, for example. I find it especially useful during my script writing sessions, which are pretty long. You can adjust the dimming levels with a satisfying twist on the trackpad. The app offers various display options. You can have just the active window brightly lit. The last used window per monitor highlighted while the rest are dimmed. If you work with PDFs, this app is a must have. It's the best free PDF editor that I've seen that converts PDFs to Word, JPEGs, Excel, PowerPoints, splits, merges, compresses, adds, watermarks, and helps you sign PDFs with ease. It streamlines the management of my business documents a must have for me. And last but not the least, let's talk about Raycast. For those seeking more functionality than what Spotlight offers, Raycast is a really powerful alternative. I use the shortcut control plus spacebar to launch Raycast. It's something similar to the command plus spacebar that we use for Spotlight when it's needed. Now Recast performs all the basic tasks that Spotlight does, like launching apps, searching for files, or converting currencies. But in addition, it offers things like excellent clipboard management, storing and allowing you to edit copied URLs, text, or images for later use. Also includes window management features, letting you position the windows in specific screen areas. Now Raycast extends its functionality through free plugins for apps like Notion and another screen capture app that I use called Screen Studio. It also integrates a dictionary, ChatGPT, Google Translate, and numerous other features. It's got over 100 plus capabilities and it's worth investing your time to explore Raycast's full potential. So for insights on free add-ons for Apple Notes, you should check out this video. And to discover eight mind-blowing features in macOS Sequoia, you should watch this video.